movement tips and lifestyle hacks brought to you by FitLab PGH. Movement, a part of making your life complete. FitLab PGH is back with more movement tips and lifestyle hacks. This is fourth or fifth in our series of things that you can do when you travel. This one we call happy hour hips, and we think about it when we get back to the hotel room after a day at the conference, standing, networking, going to things, and hopefully learning a lot. We probably still aren't done at the conference because either we're meeting friends or colleagues for dinner, or maybe there's a reception or a happy hour, and we've been standing and sitting all day, and our hips are just all stove up. So what we want to do is just encourage ourselves to do a little bit of gentle movement, maybe combine things with a hack, and check our email at the same time with our smartphones. In this case, what I've got is I've got a yoga mat here in actuality in a hotel room to help me with alignment. What I use is I use one of the big towels. You may see throughout this video a cat flitting in and out. That's my cat. It doesn't come with the hotel. So what I do is I lay down. I line myself up with the back of the mat or the towel. I'm straight. I support my head with my hand. This is Gracie, by the way. You'll see her in an upcoming video when I talk about pelvic raises. Uh, so I reach long with my top foot with the ball of my bottom foot touching and all I do is I relax my top leg and I reach long. So this is the first exercise and what I'm doing is I'm leveling up my hips top and bottom just by reaching with that top leg. I may feel a stretch in the hip muscles of the top hip. I may feel some work or some stiffness in the low back and I may do 10, 15, 20 reps depending on how interesting the email is. Then I progress to the second one. I reach so the heel of the top foot is touching. Remember the bottom foot, the ball of the foot is touching. I reach that foot up as high up on the wall as I can so the heel is engaged. Without rolling forward and back, I work on externally rotating my hip, coming back to neutral, externally rotating my hip, coming back to neutral, externally rotating my hip, coming back to neutral, and again, I may do 10 or 15 exercises of this. The final thing that I'll do is I'll plant my top foot as high up in the wall as I can with the foot flat. I'll plant my bottom foot on the wall with it flat. And keeping both feet flat, I'll try to bring my top foot as close to the bottom foot as I can without losing my hip connection, without rolling my feet. So I may do repetitions of this, again, 10 or 15, or I may just reach as high as I can and just lock the foot there or hold the foot there. What I'm looking for is I want to make sure that I don't roll that bottom foot or try to substitute movement. These are three exercises that we do on both sides of the body, so I'd spin around, called happy hour hips. I like to do repetitions or just do five or ten minutes of just going through those series of exercises on each side. It makes the evening much more enjoyable and makes it easier to get going the next day. Thanks for joining FitLab PGH for another movement tip and lifestyle hack. Guys! Three times a week, FitLab PGH brings you a movement tip or lifestyle hack. Thanks to the Pilates Body for providing us a locale for filming.